Mac, look at that. There's a nice sky. You like nice skies, Mac? What do you think makes makes the sunset so nice and so? Oh, you're busy, Mac. I'm sorry. Oh, you think... Right. You think it's all the dust in the sky that the light is bouncing off in the angle. That's very interesting, Mac. I don't know. I wonder if we get a hold of some scientist from the channeling guy, the clairvoyant. Uh, or should we leave him alone for a while? Let me give him a call. He's busy. Uh, no, he told me he took a plane ride someplace and he can't use his phone, his telepathic phone on the plane. Because then they get mad at him, so I'm gonna let it go. What do you say? What do you think? You know, do you think that, you know, like the scientists say, Mac, that um, the universe, or you think there's many universes, you know, there's multiverse. They all coinciding next to each other at different frequencies. And his realities could be different, they could be the same. It's a multitude of them. Do you think people can travel to other planets, Mac, which in, you know, in an instantaneous, faster than the speed of light? Why don't you come up, Mac? You know these, you're a very smart doggy. Let me ask you a question, Mac. What's your opinion of quantum entanglement? Do you think... Computers will be faster when they understand that a little better. Hmm, Mac? All right. You know what? Let's put this to rest for a few moments and keep on searching for that perfect tree. I think that's more important than anything, right? Bye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.